Hi everyone, it's Taylor. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm an American expat living in Malaysia and I like to share my life and travels with you. Well, I'm sorry that I missed my video last week, but that's because I was having the most horrendous move of my entire life, I think. Want to hear more about it? Stay tuned. Well, as you can probably tell, I'm somewhat settled in my new apartment, but I'm going to have to wait and do the tour another time because it's just not finished and I want it to be just right before I show all of you. First, I have to say I don't regret moving. I do love the new apartment and it's going to be much better for me, especially the no stairs. But that said, it was the most horrendous moving I've ever done in my life, I think. And as I said before, I've moved 33 times. So what made this so bad, you might ask? Well, I'll tell you all about it. Okay, first of all, I had a Malay friend of mine make the arrangements with thelori.com, who I used before when I moved from Penang to KL without any real problems. They did a pretty good job. But my friend set this up for me, and he told them all about all the furniture, sent pictures, sent pictures of all the boxes, everything like that, and got a quote of 500 ringgit. Well, I thought that was ridiculously too low, but then I thought it was ridiculously too low when they only charged me 1,100 ringgit to move from Penang to KL. So I guess moving prices are just generally very affordable here. But buyer beware, you pay for what you get. I'm sorry, I just cannot recommend thelori.com anymore. They did a terrible job. But you might have a different experience. The way they run, I think, is they just hire subcontractors. There's no training or anything, no teaching them how to not damage furniture, which I'll get into later. And so I just don't think they're very qualified. I mean, I guess it's hit and miss. I mean, the ones from Penang to Kale were fine. First of all, you have to set up with both buildings, where you're living and where you're moving to, as to the date and the time that you're going to move. Now, as I've mentioned before, at M-City, you have to pay a 300 ringgit deposit for any time you have any moving or repairs or anything. It's just a deposit, and if there's no damage, you get it back. Now, at my new building, they charge a 1,000 ringgit fee for moving in. Well, not fee, deposit. You could put it on a credit card, but then you don't get your money back for several months. They will not take cash. They will only take a check. I mean, the check is the only way you can get your money back quickly. So I don't even have a check here. I mean, I have checks from the United States, but I don't think that's what they meant. So anyway, my realtor, my wonderful realtors, who I'm going to tell you more about in future videos, they took care of that for me and used a business check to write it. But I don't know how other people do it. I don't know that many people have checks anymore. Next, when we were talking to the moving company and we showed them everything that we had, they said that a five-ton lorry would be perfect. And a five-ton lorry, I think, can move quite a bit of stuff. Now, normally, most people don't have a lot of furniture to move here, especially if you're a renter, because most places come furnished. But I do have a lot of furniture. Well, they arrived on time in the morning to move, which was good. An elevator had been reserved for us, so that was good too. So, well, the first time the boss guy comes into the apartment and he starts looking around and he goes, oh, this is way more stuff than they told me. Well, I'm sorry, that's not my problem. But he said, oh, it's going to cost more. Now, I was expecting this. Two reasons. One, I think they purposely underbid at 500 ringgit. And I also think they gave me Malaysian pricing because I had a Malay friend set this up for me. And when he walked in the door and saw an expat, he decided that I could pay more. Now, I could be wrong about that, but I don't think so. So anyway, he looked around and he said, oh, we have to wrap the TV. We have to wrap this marble table. We have to wrap the sofa. I said, oh, wait, you don't have to wrap the sofa. Anyway, he said the new price, not 500 ringgit. The new price was 1,300 ringgit. And mm, I said, no, I don't think so. And we discussed about which things needed to be wrapped and all that. So I got him down to 800 ringgit. I thought it was a fair price, really. So I didn't really care about that. But for my 800 ringgit, I expected that I would get moved and get moved that day. 
but sadly that's not what happened. So there were three movers. I was paying for four, however, but that didn't come up in the conversation. So they got most of the stuff out pretty quickly and without any events that I could tell. But then they started acting like the lorry or the truck was getting too full and they weren't sure they were gonna get everything in. Well, I'm sorry. A five-ton lorry can fit the furniture that I have, if you know how to pack. Now see, that's what it goes back to. It goes back to these people having no training at all. So, I don't know, I think I'd rather pay more and have more professional movers in the future. If there is ever another move in my life, I certainly hope not. <laughs> so yeah, you know, he said that couldn't get everything, and I, well, I sort of panicked, and I said, well, you need to at least get this chair. I can't put that in a car. Or, you know, that's, I don't know, I was just in a panic. So they got everything loaded that they could. Now, and this is where I made another mistake, though, because it's really far from our apartment to the elevator and then going down to the parking garage and then across the parking garage to the car. It's pretty far. So we didn't want to have to schlep all that stuff back and forth. So I wish I had thought about it and said, well, since the truck is full or the lorry is full, can you at least fill up our car with as much stuff as you could? Because it was a lot of odds and ends. I didn't think about that, however, and I thought, well, we'll just take care of what was left. So we get over to the new place, not really eventful, and they have no trouble getting in here and, you know, finding the loading dock and everything like that. And luckily here, the freight elevator is right next to our apartment, so very convenient. I had brought Earl Grey over earlier in the day, and he was in the laundry room. So he was just sort of nervously waiting in there for everything to get finished. I'm wondering why they couldn't do a second run. I mean, I'm, I was moving less than a kilometer away. It seems like they could have unloaded the truck, gone back and gotten the few things remaining and brought it. But no, they wouldn't do that. So they took 50 ringgit off the price and I only had to pay 750. Well, I tell you, I would have paid way more than 50 ringgit to get the remaining stuff out of the apartment. It was horrible. You can see here, I have some pictures of what was left over and how messy the apartment was. And we took our time, but it took us 10 days to get everything out of there. Now, what would have happened if I had to be out of the apartment that day? Now, I never set it up that way, but some people do. Some people just need to get out, turn the place over to the old landlords. Luckily, I didn't have to do that because I told my landlord that I was gonna have it until July 15th. Now I am handing it over today, which is sooner than July 15th, so that's good. I'm glad that's over with. So yesterday we finally got the last few things out of the old apartment. I had my cleaning lady come and clean it up really good. And you can see here, I think it looks pretty nice. Now it does need to be painted some. There was still some discoloration on the walls from before I moved in, but that's up to them. I hope they're going to give me all my deposit back, that's for sure. But that's another thing. It's really kind of expensive to move in Malaysia, for locals particularly, but for everyone, because you've got a two months rent security deposit at the old place, plus there's usually some sort of utilities deposit, mine was 850 ringgit there, and at the new place I had the two months rent and all the other fees, so it's a lot of money to tie up. It was around, I don't know, 14, 15,000 ringgit, you know, tied up until I get the deposit back from the old place. So it is not cheap to move here, but from that standpoint, the actual move itself does not cost very much. But as I said, you get what you pay for. Now, after they got everything in, I noticed several things were damaged. My dresser, they had broken the legs off and they managed to repair it. I guess it's okay but it's broken, you know, and there was no, no talk about repairing it or replacing it or anything. There's a deep gouge on the top of the beautiful wooden cabinet behind me, which I'm not happy about. They also broke the legs off a bookcase. Oh, I don't know, I think there's more, but anyway, that's enough. It's more damage than I've ever had during a move, honestly. But I'm here, I'm happy, I'm settled, and I wanted you all to know that. Earl Grey has calmed down. He's loving it here. He has this little area he can go to that's outside. It's where the aircon compressors are. And when the aircon's not on, it's just a nice little outdoor area. 
It has louvers, but the louvers are too small for Earl Grey to get out of. So he can sit out there and get fresh air, which is really nice. But I think I'm going to love it here. Now, the building does have some issues that I'll go into in a future video when I give you the tour. So you can look forward to that. But all in all, I think it's going to be a really positive move. And I really appreciate you all coming along for the ride with me. If you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe. And check the notification bell, too. That way you won't miss any of my future content. Also, I have Buy Me a Coffee now. That way you can contribute directly to my channel to help support it. Now, I do this because I don't want to have sponsorships anymore because I don't want another ad inside of my videos. So keep that in mind and buy me a coffee, please. I appreciate it so much. But that's all I have for today. I'm getting ready to go over to the old apartment for the final time and hand over the keys. And I can't wait for that to have it all behind me. And hopefully my final move of my life. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I don't think that's ever going to happen. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Talk to you later. Bye. Get, 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 get